Alright, so welcome back to the Pokemon Heart Gold Larvitar solo run. Sorry if the video seems kind of crappy right now. My recording studio is looking bad, and so is the audio, so I'm sorry for both those things. Last episode, we caught our Larvitar Boo Boo, and we we're gonna put him in the first place. And as you can see, in some places the emulator goes pretty fast, in other places it's kind of laggy. Like, you'll notice in the battle sequence how it's going kind of fast. I mean, I need to speed up battle sequences anyways, but I don't... I don't know, I don't really want it to be that fast. But anyways, continuing on our journey, we are going to go to Cherry Grove City. And then to Mr. Pokemon's house. And see what to do there and all that. So... Sorry about the audio last time, guys. I know I said that a lot in the last episode, but I am. I try to fix it right now. I try to fix the lag, too. And I kind of fixed the lag, but like I said, it's still going to lag a little. They will definitely both be fixed by the end of next episode, so don't you worry. I'm actually going to kill this entry because I usually like to fight Pokemon in the early games just to get my starter Pokemon a little experience. Even if it's not that much experience, plus since Larvitar needs a lot of experience to level up, I really just want to get him some extra experience. So if you go up to this corner, you can find a potion, which is kind of helpful, but maybe not worth the trek through all the grass since we don't have repels yet. And I gotta say, I just, I know I marveled at the beauty of all the graphics last episode, but look at the grass. This grass just looks so amazing. So amazing. I mean, it looks like real grass. Alright, Pidgey. Bring it on. Boom. Yeah, you better flinch. Yeah. No one messes with Boo Boo the Larvitar. Yeah, so that just shows you how easy the first gym leader is going to be with a Larvitar, since he's a rock and ground type. Pretty sure that guy doesn't say anything. I hope not. And I think there's nothing up there. If I can remember. Ugh, I forget. I've played these games a gazillion times, but I forget still everything about them and whatnot. I know that guy doesn't do anything, and I know we can't get that apricorn yet. Just because we don't have the apricorn box. But we will get that this episode, I promise. And so here's Cherry Grove City. We have arrived. Before we can go on, of course I have to get stopped by someone. This old man. Which is kind of like a pedophile, if you ask me. Like, I don't know. He, like, invites you into his home. He's just, like, gives you his wet, sweaty running shoes to wear. I don't know, that's just if you ask me. Might sound a little weird, but... Whatever. So, he's gonna show you around the city. Show you what a Pokemon Center looks like and what the Pokemart looks like. And where to go to get to Mr. Pokemon's house. So this is the new and improved Pokemon Center. Not really new and improved, but I mean, against to the old blocky feeling of the regular gold and silver versions, it's definitely an improvement. Same as the Pokemart. My favorite thing about Pokemon Black and White though is how they combine the Pokemon Center and the Pokemon Mart just together. It just made things a lot simpler and everything was just so easy. Oh yeah, and by the way, um, YouTube is now allowing me to make my videos around 15 minutes, so I'm gonna make each episode that long. Just because we can get done with this in fewer episodes, and maybe on the way, make you guys a little more happier. I don't know. That sounds a little weird, I know, but sorry about it. Anyways, he's taking us back to his house. Gonna show us what his house looks like. I don't know. I don't know why he shows us his house. It's weird. This is why I think he's a pedophile. Like, look at this. He just gives us his nasty running shoes. And shows us where he lives and stuff. That's just my idea. Alright, so. You know how all how to use the running shoes. Just hold the B button down. Or, if you're in this version, there's this nifty little button right on the side of your bottom screen that you can press and it'll keep the running shoes on as long as you go. You don't even need to press B. So that's pretty helpful. 
But, let's continue on and go to Mr. Po- Wait, what? What's that? Alright. Alright, so now he's gonna give you the town map, I think. I don't know why. He just gives you a map for no apparent reason, but... Hell, we'll take it. It doesn't matter. And, um... I don't know if you've been noticing it this episode, or if you're gonna notice it last episode. I kinda make this, like, a walkthrough, too. So, I'm basically playing it as a Let's Play solo run, too, but... I'm gonna be adding in, like, walkthrough features and stuff like that. Just for your convenience. So, if you're wanting this to be a walkthrough as well, you're welcome. And just comment if I missed anything or on any Pokemon you want me to catch. I know this is a solo run, but I'm still gonna need like HM slaves. And um well yeah HM slaves I mean Larvatars can't fly can they? But um Yeah. This is my first solo run like ever playing a solo run, recording a solo run. This is my first time for both. So um if I mess up on the rules then just tell me because I've never done this before, and I don't know all the rules, like, ever, so, just tell me. And so, here's the apricorn guy, and he says people usually visit my house for, um, to see if it's Mr. Pokemon's house, but no, he's just the apricorn guy, he's not Mr. Pokemon. And he gives us, uh, the apricorn box which you can store apricorns in, and we will teach you what apricorns are useful for in due time. Oh, whoops, my bad. I am so bad at that. Oh my gosh. Remember last episode? If you haven't seen last episode, please check back to that, because I talked to my mom like four times in a row on accident. It's just because of this stupid lag. And in fact, I think I accidentally didn't turn on... Yeah. I was thinking that. I accidentally pressed quit, not confirm, so the text was still really, really slow. But that was my bad, so. Yeah, you can now collect apricorns. Come on. There we go. And I think this is different every single time, but for me, it's a green apricorn right now. Um, there's also pink, white, black. I forget all the different colors, but there's a lot of different colors, and. It just, oh my gosh, my bad. The color, um, the color is, makes it a different Pokeball and all that. I don't know, we'll, t we'll tell you all this Epicorn stuff later, Epicorn stuff. Alright, we'll take it on this Caterpie. Screw you, Caterpie. This is what I love about having a Rock-type Pokemon at first, because... All the lower level Pokemon only use normal type attacks, and they suck against rock types. JS, just saying. Oh my gosh, get out of here. I don't get it, the first part to a Pokemon battle is laggy, but then it speeds up crazy during this. And I don't know, it is just very, very weird. Very weird. But it's another Caterpie, maybe it's his Caterpie girlfriend or something like that that was getting pissed off that we just killed her boyfriend or something, I don't know. But we killed her too. I know it says fainted, but I always just say kill. I'm not, like, animal cruelty hater or something like that. It's just always what I imagined what they meant when they said the Pokemon fainted. I mean, isn't that what you thought, too? Come on. When a Pokemon fainted, you just thought that they died, like... Except when your Pokemon faint, of course, because you can heal them and whatnot. So I don't know which way is better to go to. I'm just, I just always go to the right anyways. Even though some people kind of say, like, the left is easier to go... But honestly, in the long run, this isn't going to make that big of a deal. <laughs> so here's a Pidgey. And like that other Pidgey before, he is going to get his ass whooped and bitten. So screw you, Pidgey. And we are almost level 6. It's taking me a long time for the Larvitar, though. So like I said, there's different colored apricorns. And this one appears to be a pink one. We appear to jerk off this tree, and it squirts out its nasty pink apron. Okay, I'm sorry for putting that image in there. It's just, that's what it looks like to me. That is what it looks like to me. I'm sorry. But here is Mr. Pokemon's house. 
that we are going to go into uninvitedly. And it seems that Professor Oak is here too. Weird, I don't know how he knows Mr. Pokemon or whatnot. But Mr. Pokemon brings back a Pokemon egg, I guess. It's a mystery egg. I'll spoil the fun. It's a Togepi. If you didn't already know that, then I'm sorry. You are kind of not smart because, I mean, that's what, like, every egg is ever. It's, a po it's the Togepi egg. And I guess I'll carry it since I'm only going to be having one Pokemon anyways. I'll just keep the Togepi when it hatches. Because if you take it back to Professor Elm, I feel like he does something with it. I don't know. Oh, and I realized last episode, I was calling Professor Elm Professor Oak a lot. And you probably knew what I meant, but yeah, I'm sorry for doing that. I, I was just messing up a lot with the audio, with the visual, and just with my narr narr narration. All the Tongue-tied again. Narration. Jeez, I'm, I'm so bad at this. But honestly, I'm not doing this, like, to gain anything. I'm doing it for fun, which sounds kind of weird, but it, it's pretty fun. I don't know. I think it's kind of fun. But yeah, we get the Pokedex from Professor Oak, and he tells us that he wants us to collect all the data like he always does in every single game. <clears throat> Besides the generations that doesn't have Professor Oak in them, necessarily. <clears throat> Excuse me. But, yeah. That boring stuff was done finally, and we can go outside and get on with our Pokemon lives. Whoa. Whoa. What's going on? Just kidding. We all know that it's Professor Elm telling us that someone broke into the lab and that he needs us back here. And as you saw again, I mean the lag is just horrible out here, but then it's like super speed everywhere else. I mean, I'm not touching any buttons, so I don't know what makes it that way. Anyways, let's keep on battling these guys. Another Caterpie. That we're just going to bite to death. And it can't do anything about it. So screw you, Caterpie. You know, I just thought of something. Since I picked um, Chikorita for my first starter Pokemon, that means our rival is going to have a Cyndaquil making Larvitar super effective against it since it's rocky ground. And I did that unintentionally, which is pretty cool, so... Yeah. You can give all your props to me, you know. And there are a lot of Caterpies running around. If you want to catch a Caterpie, I mean... The Pokemon are alright. They're gonna do horrible against the first gym leader, though, so I wouldn't recommend getting one. I don't even know when a bug Pokemon would come in handy anytime soon, but... Yeah. Hey, there's a couple people battling. What's up, dudes? We can't stay for long, though, because I'm hoping to get done with this really soon, because we are about to be done with this episode. So we shall go back to Cherry Grove City and quickly make it back to the lab if we can. Except we might have some trouble in the progress. Yeah, you know, you guys already know this, I know it. There is a rival battle up here. And it is the dude who was staring into Professor Elm's lab before. And here he is. And since I'm only going to be able to get done with the battle right now, you guys can comment on what the name of him wants to be, because usually I just name him like Butthead or like Anus, like a little mature guy I am. So if you guys want a different name, comment on the video below and I will name him that. But here he is, Passerby Boy with his Cyndaquil. And I'm going to send out Boo Boo. And he's going to die. And of course Tackle's not going to do anything, but my bite is going to do a lot. In fact, let's just mess with him since we have extra time. I'm just going to use a Sandstorm. And screw with his head. And I can't get affected by it because I'm a cool kid. But let's finish this guy off. Just keep biting, just keep biting. That's what she said. <laughs> so, Passerby Boy gets defeated really simply. And since we have um, a Larvitar, that experience doesn't do us like anything. And um, he tells us that he's going to be the world's greatest trainer. 
which is funny because he's not. We are going to be the best trainer. And then, just to make more sense with us knowing his name, they say that he dropped his trainer card and we picked it up. Which would make more sense, but yeah. Um, so yeah, that is the episode for today. We will see you guys next time. Later.